Hey everybody, my name is Alex and welcome back to my channel, Hand Pickerson. If you're new here, I am a full-time reseller that sells on websites like eBay, Amazon, and for collectible cards, I sell on a website called TCG Player. Um, in today's video, we're headed over to a town called Brigantine, which is just outside of Atlantic City. Um, over there, they are having their community yard sale. So every year, it is absolutely gigantic. So this year, they're expecting 160 houses um, to have a sale there. So uh, I have the GoPro, and we are going to see what we can find. Um, after we do kind of go to a few yard sales, we're going to head back to the barn, and we're going to go over everything that we did find. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. How much did you want for the Frady Cats? Uh, like a dollar. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard of it, but yeah, yeah. looks cool. Got Thank it. you very Thanks. much. I appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> good morning. Hello. How are you? Hello. Good, thanks. Hello. Hi, good morning. Well, it's going to be a hot one today. Yeah, when this... When you're in the sun, it's it's a little warm out. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, I didn't realize it was that heavy. You told me which way you want it. Want you want it long ways or this way? How much did you want for the golf clubs? Um, let me see, what did he say? I forget what he said there. One was five, two or five, one was ten, one was fifteen. Could you do twenty for all of them? Uh, they're not mine. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, they were like a couple hundred dollar clubs. They're expensive. Yeah, they're from like 2007. Yeah, whatever. Um, no problem if, if that doesn't work. How about twenty-five? You can have them all. Um... I know they're like, you know, he's one of those people, if he doesn't ha um, have a go good golf game for a while. Yeah, he's done. Club. Yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. Do you mind if I just see the putter? I'm just curious what the yeah. putter is real quick. But if, if it is something I'm looking for, then yeah, I could do 25. Yeah, I could do 25 on it. Yeah, he buys, like I said, they're good, you know. Yeah, of course. Thank he you. He can fix the clubs when he has a bad game. Absolutely, <laughs> right? It's, oh, I need a new club. So you have a lot of good stuff here. Uh, how much would you want for the PlayStation? PlayStation, uh, with the game, is 40 bucks. 40 bucks? Okay. And then how much for the golf bag? Golf bag, 50 bucks. 50 bucks, okay. All right. Um, hmm. All right, I'm going to keep looking. I definitely want to get the golf bag. Um, yeah, I looked in the garage. I had too many golf bags. Yeah, right. I, I, it was either I got rid of that one or my high school golf bag. Oh, uh, you can't get rid of that. I was like, I was like, who's gonna, who's gonna want an EHC Eagles? Yeah, right. This is great. I'll definitely, I'm gonna use this. And then, how much did you want for the drone? The drone, uh, forty bucks. 40 bucks, okay. So, I think it was 50, 40, and 40, which would be, uh, where's my math here, 130. Could you do 125 on everything? Yeah. Awesome. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Awesome. There you Thank go, you. appreciate it. Thank you. 
Oh, you have a YouTube channel? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, here, I'll give you my, my card. I, uh, what the thing going that? I go around and people like to just watch people yard sale. Oh, dude, I know. I, I, I watch people all the time. Yeah, it's fun. Flips. Yeah, exactly. My dad watches Froggy Flips. So, I'm, I'm tiny. I only have like 100 subscribers, but, you know, it's just fun. So, yeah. but. I'm definitely gonna buy things, books, and records. Really? Okay, I know. I noticed some records there. Do you sell on Amazon or anything for no, books? No, no, most mostly um, just just out here. Yeah, yeah, just absolutely. Outside. Yeah, I hear you. And, awesome. Good but, for you, uh, man. Yeah, let me let me give you my card. Yeah, please. And, uh, I'll, I'll connect with you. Yeah, for sure. I, 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 love, I love watching the stream of videos. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Interviewing for. Oh yeah, I um. Oh, that's yeah, cool. I'm going to start selling on Whatnot. Oh, okay. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll definitely be in contact, too, because if you ever have, like, any um, excess stuff or bulk stuff that you wanted to get rid of, I, I'm, I'm always buying. So. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. What's your name? Alex. Alex Christian. Christian. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. <clears throat> Alrighty. Morning. Good morning. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful out. So I actually have a like a YouTube channel where I uh, I just I kind of point it down, but I film myself yard sailing. People just kind of love to just watch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So um, you learn a lot. I've learned a lot. So I figured you know I'd give give a go at it. So yeah, thank you. Yeah. And who would watch that? People that follow yards. Yeah, people that are into like. Um, um, flea marketing and like thrifting and stuff yeah. um, I guess they just like to and then also like if you ever watched American Pickers on History Channel maybe similar to that where like uh, you know I feel like I have a ton of knowledge in like vinyl records and golf clubs and stuff so people can just learn I guess I don't know so <laughs> yeah so well good luck on your sale figures the one time I decided not to take out my backpack um, I actually found a pretty good deal so I ended up buying um, a set of golf clubs and I actually only paid a hundred dollars for them so um, it included a full set of Adams irons a, uh, a driver a three wood a ping putter so um, I might even be able to make my money back just on the putter itself so uh, I paid a hundred dollars for everything and uh, pretty happy about that so <clears throat> so far we're doing all right um, and you know, we're just going to keep continuing on. I might even run out of money soon because I've been buying some bigger things. So, <clears throat> but that's okay because, uh, even though they are bigger things, I think that they'll sell uh, rather quickly. So let's continue on. Yeah. Program. Were you on those emails? No, no. Oh, 
we were, we were signing well, way back. Do you know how much you wanted for the hats? Yeah, they are um, five dollars each or two for eight. Cool, that'd be great. Thank you. I think I have, I think I have enough. <clears throat> two, three. There's eight for you right there. Thank you so much. So one final stop I made, usually when there's like a large crowd around, I don't really film or anything, but um, I kind of took a chance on everything. We're gonna have to go over um, everything in here. It is a bunch of GI Joes. So um, there's some old uh, original uh, vehicles, but there is a ton of little guys like this. So um, I don't know the exact year, um, but we're gonna have to go through uh, everything in here. I think there could be, you know, a lot of money. This guy right here, um, and he said a lot of it is complete. So uh, I took the chance on it. Um, I paid $125 for it. Um, I know some variations of GI Joes can sell for that alone. So um, I'm hoping we can at least, you know, maybe double our money. But um, we'll definitely go over everything back at the barn. All right, so we are going to go over everything that we found. Pretty much everything is on this table up here. These golf clubs, a drone, and then in this box here is uh, all of those GI Joes, which I went over, so we'll, we'll see that at the end. But I'm gonna slowly go over everything here. Uh, we'll try to do one take and just, uh, we'll, we'll start on the right here um, with something I got for $10. This is a vintage Stetson hat. So. Um, always keep an eye out for Stetson. I was pretty happy with this find. I should be able to sell this for $80 or $90. Um, and just a quick fact about Stetson, thanks to my friend Brad, let me know that they are the official um, cowboy hat of the Dallas Cowboys. So you can see back here, we did get some video games. We got uh, an Xbox, a Wii. I think I paid uh, $10 or $15 for this. It didn't come with any of the cables, but it came with some games. Um, and I bought some other stuff from the lady, so I just figured I could throw that in. The Wii, I paid $20 for. This was complete, um, and it came with some video games. That's the main reason why I bought it, so we'll go over that at the end. Um, this is a bunch of uh, Mets buttons and pins. Um, they're just really cool. I paid $5 for everything. Um, I can easily probably get $5 for one pin alone. So um, a lot of the stuff you'll see is, you know, it's just uh, so good of a price that I couldn't not buy it. Um, this here, this is just a dollar. I'm just going to put this as like a little display somewhere. Just thought it was cool. A little Pez guy. They're not worth a whole lot. Maybe if they were sealed, it would be. Um, this guy right here, I paid $5 for. It is a sealed uh, two-pack of black 950XL. And you can see down here, it expires in June 2023. I already sold this. Um, I believe I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping uh, or $25. I'll, I'll put this uh, the comp up on the screen or the, the sold listing up on the screen. Um, this right here, this is a brand new uh, Ryobi drill. I paid $15 for this. Um, I thought it was actually going to be worth a little bit more than it is. This one is the P215 V9. Um, I want to say it maybe sells for $25. Five thirty dollars uh, without the um, without the battery, but you know that happens sometimes. I don't typically go to yard sales and look up stuff. I kind of just go off of knowledge. So uh, in that case, I bet you if this was an impact driver, um, it'd be worth a lot more. But you know, I'll still make a little bit on that. Along with video games, I did buy a PlayStation. You saw that. Um, this one, the open button gets a little caught, so then it doesn't close. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But um, I paid, I think, $40 for this, which is a little much. Um, the guy was a really nice guy, so I bought a few things from him. Um, but this came with a Final Fantasy game, um, and I think the Final Fantasy game alone, I think, was $20. So pretty much bought this for $20 bucks after I sell that. So bought some cool hats. Um, I think I paid $2 for this. Uh, I don't really know who Ari is, but um, just a really cool hat, and I guess it's signed by him as well. So uh just something i thought was cool i bought a lot of red bull f1 aston martin racing so uh i'm a big fan of f1 if you guys haven't watched uh the documentary series on netflix i would highly suggest it but a lot of this net red bull stuff uh, i got for uh i think like two dollars a piece so i even just sold one of the polos for 55 dollars. so practically made my money back on on all of the red bull stuff um, I got this Opryland and another cool hat in a second. Um, the lady 
uh, I asked about a Yankees hat. I'll just pull it out now. This hat right here, super, super cool. I asked how much she wanted for it. She said it was free, but only if you take another hat. So um, I chose to take this Opryland hat. I just thought it was cool. Not really sure how much it'll uh, sell for, but it was free, so no big deal. Um, you saw in the video here, I think I paid two or two for eight. Um, so this is a Mitchell and Ness Raptors hat. Um, brand new so never used i think i have this up for 25 or 30 dollars and then same with this hat right here like an all over print hardwood classics uh 47 47 brand uh, really cool hat there one more aston martin racing um and then we have a few more things including this uh really nice laptop bag uh, and again i want to say like each piece was like two or two or three dollars i think the lady worked for red bull and these were all free giveaways um but i just missed uh somebody beat me by like five minutes they bought almost everything else uh, and this was kind of all that was left you know i'm still happy to have uh stuff like this i even along with it came a flag that i'm going to keep and put on the wall right there so um just have uh, some hats uh, that my cousin's boyfriend gave me that just to have like a little display and stuff. So I thought that was cool. Um, here I bought a pair of Uggs. They were in really good condition. I think I paid $20 for these. That's a little much. Um, you know, looking back, I got excited. I actually thought they were new, but they're used. Um, I'll still be able to maybe sell them for 40 or 50 bucks. Um, and it has the original box. So, you know, I know that they're real. Going into these, I'm pretty excited uh, about VCRs. Um, I bought both of these for $5 a piece, and I bought both of these for $10 a piece. Um, I already sold this one. I believe I sold it for $50 plus shipping. Um, this one is complete with manual and remote. I have it up for $130, and I expect it to sell for that much. And then these two, um, they'll. this one also has the remote and the manual. I want to say maybe these will sell for $30, $40 uh, plus shipping. Uh, I bought this with the lady that I bought the Xbox with. Um, I thought it was cool, Mr. Peanut, Peanut Butter Maker. Um, I don't know really how much it'll sell for. I think she wanted like $2 for it. Um, and it's brand new. It's never been used. Um, so if you want to pull uh, nostalgia right here, uh, I got the Toys R Us uh, uh, label there for $9.99. So it's a Peanut Butter Maker and just a really cool piece, especially if you collect uh, like 90s nostalgic stuff. Uh, this would be cool in a display case. So um, I'll definitely, I was definitely happy to pick that up. Um, because I was in a beach town, um, I did buy a lot of fishing reels. I am not an expert in fishing reels by any means, but um, I know to keep an eye out for the name Pen. Um, and these were a majority of pen reels. So, uh, the other one too is, I might pronounce this wrong, uh, Daiwa. Um, so these reels here, I think sell for 50 or $60. I'll put a comp up on the screen, but there was two of them. Um, so two down here and you know, I think the reels themselves, uh, the pen reels, maybe another Daiwa right here. This looks like a nineties fishing reel. There's another pen down there that you can see. Uh, maybe they'll sell for 40 to $50 a piece. Um, and there's a good amount in there. So, uh, pretty excited about that. These, as you can see, were $2 a piece. They're brand new an electric water timer. Wasn't sure what they'd sell for, but I believe they sell for about 30 or $35. Um, over here, here is a Rainbird sprinkler system, uh, kind of set up here. I thought that this would be worth like a lot of money. Um, it's, I, I don't think it is. I can't actually find any comps for the ESP4i. However, uh, it did come with the actual uh, plug-in to plug it into an electrical wall outlet. And I think the, the cord itself sells for like 50 or 60 bucks. So um, I also bought this, uh, these, this pair of Jordans. They're, they're beat up. They're nothing special. Um, I think she wanted $5 for them. So I'll clean them up and I could probably get 40, 50 bucks for them because they do have the box. Um, coming down here, I did actually buy a Casio key, or no, not Casio, Yamaha, uh, PSS 270 voice bank. I think the reason why maybe this one is worth a decent amount, I'll put the comp up on the screen, uh, is because I think you can record your voice, um, and then you can pretty much like make beats and stuff off this. So there's no cord for it, but it does turn on, it does work, um, which was great. Um, so we'll go over to where I bought the PlayStation with. Again, you saw that I also bought this drone. Probably shouldn't have bought this. Um, I want to say I, I made good money on another drone, so I just kind of bought it off a whim. Um, I paid 
forty dollars for this, and maybe uh, it's it's new, never used. The box is kind of beat up, uh, but maybe I'll be able to get like fifty or eighty dollars free shipping, and it's a you know pretty big box, so pretty much break even. Um, maybe I'll use it myself to get some uh, drone shots of uh, yard sailing. I don't know. <laughs> um, so along with that yard sale, I did buy this Titleist golf bag. Um, very very nice golf bag. I actually thought about keeping it for myself. Um, this I paid $50 for, and I believe I have it up for 130 already have a watcher on it. Um, and some of the bigger stuff was golf clubs. So, uh, I did pay a hundred dollars for all of the Adams clubs. It's a few over here. So these irons here, uh, this included a full set plus this hybrid right here. I put up for, I believe, $160, um, and I already have a watcher on that, so I do expect that to sell. Uh, the driver itself, uh, pretty good condition. I think I put up for $60, uh, and then I, sold, or I have up these two clubs together. I think I have that up for $60 or $70. Uh, this three wood was pretty surprised by this. I think I have this up for 55 and the hybrid for 39. Um, finally, I think the putter, this one right here, uh, I think I have up for 55 again, similar to that 30, 40. Um, and then I still need to put up this bullseye one here, but you know, as you can see, golf clubs are very, um, very good money and they they you know they sell fairly fast people don't necessarily want to pay full price for golf clubs so they always go to ebay to buy um so if you know your brands uh you can definitely make a lot of money um uh, but there's also some you know older 90s 80s clubs that are kind of worthless uh so you kind of got to know the difference so um but really happy with this pickup here um in the back it is kind of tough to see uh, I did buy a Netgear router that has everything uh, with it, but I also bought this Bose speaker here. Always keep an eye out for Bose speakers that look like this. Uh, I paid $20 for this, and I have it listed for $140, and I totally expect it to sell for that amount. Um, sorry, I feel like we're rambling on here, but we're almost done. Uh, I bought two uh, uh, controllers here. I think these were $3 a piece. I already sold both of them for $20 a piece, uh, so that was good. Uh, we have some clothing that we will go over. This is all that Red Bull stuff. These over here, I was really surprised. I bought these along with the GI Joes. I paid a dollar for this one and a dollar twenty-five for that. I pretty much bought these because a kid was selling lemonade and I needed change for you know a five-dollar bill. So I just bought both of these and let him keep the change. But I sold this one already for forty-five dollars. Um, I did not expect to sell that. I mean, this looks like something you would just get in like CVS or something. Um, but I guess it is kind of a collector's piece. Uh, as well as this one, I think I have up for $40. Um, I did buy a bunch of watches here. There is nothing very valuable in this. It was only $5. I was thinking if I ever have a yard sale, I'll just put these up and sell them for a dollar a piece. But um, in that stack was this one. So this is a Michael Kors watch. Uh, it does need a new uh, link there for the, it should look like that, but instead it has almost like a paper clip in it. Um, pretty happy with that. I think that'll sell for maybe $65, $70. Um, and then over to the video games. So, well, first we'll start off with some tapes. Uh, this lady only wanted three for 50 cents. So this was sealed, Bruce Springsteen. Um, U2 was sealed. That was the one I was kind of most interested in. And then the Molly Hatchet was just open. That was just, you know, just to get the 50 cents. Um, I did see some, uh, some Beastie Boys, uh, record or cassettes sell for a decent amount of money. So I didn't know if the U2 would sell. Finally, going on to some video games. This came with the Xbox that I bought from the lady, and there's a few more as well. Uh, these two came with the Wii. That's the main reason why I bought it. So this will sell for $20, $25, and this will actually sell for about $30. And the Wii, you know, maybe it'll sell for $55, $60. So pretty good buy there. This I paid a dollar for. This sells for about $30. Bucks. Uh, this is that Final Fantasy I was talking about. Um, it's like a four-disc set. Uh, that'll sell for a decent amount of money, but that, I think, for maybe 20 bucks. Have an original Grand Theft Auto. This was just the collector's edition, but if you do open it up, I don't want the uh, disc to fall out. It did have uh, the original GTA in it, too, which is cool. Um, I think I paid a dollar for each of these, just uh, a GameCube game I bought. Again, for a dollar, I could probably make, you know, this also came with the... Um, the the Wii so uh, I'll probably hold on to that until I get a, a like a Wii fit board um 
This I also bought for a dollar. I already sold this. If you don't know, keep an eye out for Black Ops 2. Uh, usually these, set, like other Call of Duties, sell for five, six bucks. Uh, this one, for some reason, sells for 20, which is what I sold it for. Um, Final Fantasy X2, Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's keep going. This one is the main reason why I bought it. This is actually like a $50 game, but live and learn. Um, there's Pac Man in it. So. Uh, even though, you know, you think people are just throwing stuff out and it's already in there, always double check. Um, but, you know, still be able to sell all of these. Um, let's see what else here. This is sealed. I don't think this will sell for a whole lot, but, you know, who knows? Maybe there's a wipeout collector and then a Modern Warfare 3. Another modem here. Um... And I think that's pretty much it. Other than some of the clothing, again, it's all Red Bull stuff. This one right here, I literally just sold a while, right before I started um, filming this. This is like a nice, like official polo. It's a women's large. I sold it for $55 um, plus shipping. And then there's some other quarter zips here that I haven't put up yet. So finally, let's uh, go over pretty much the best find of the weekend which was these G.I. Joes. Okay, so as you can see here, this looks like a mess, but uh, I organized everything. I was really surprised that usually, you know, when you buy a box of this, uh, it's missing a ton of pieces. Almost every single G.I. Joe was complete. Uh, so I took my time and went through everything with these uh, cards here. The guy cut them out um, and kind of found every single piece for it. So uh, there are multiple multiple complete ones so gung-ho here this one is complete uh you have annihilator the, this is complete with everything so what is crazy this one i still need to find i had some leftover pieces uh that i oh these are all like the stands you get a ton of stands for them um some of them have fallen apart so there's like i guess like a rubber band in the middle but you know they still sell i think they're very easy to put back together with it if you just have the correct rubber band but this one you know is complete as well and what's crazy is some of these by themselves uh sell for 50 60 dollars a figure um and there are dozens of them so um hostile environment there we got Tunnel Rat. This was a cool one because this one had a, uh, a ton of pieces. Uh, it took me a little bit, but I found them all, so I was really happy about these. These are all from 1985, 1986, I believe up to 1990. Uh, muskrat there. Um, and, you know, again, all complete. So really, really happy about that. It did come with some figure or some uh, vehicles. The vehicles aren't too much. This one right here, this one is actually complete uh minus so it should have two of these pieces that kind of go across right there um and they broke off uh and it's missing one of them but it even has the figure in there uh if this was you know it didn't have those that'd be like a 70 dollar figure uh or ship right there um and yeah just really really i mean even to the point where he uh saved the the you know the instructions uh, for some of these vehicles. So again, some of these vehicles are missing. It looks like he actually played with them, which is great. Um, but you know, they're just a little dirty, but, uh, I totally expect, uh, to make really, really good money on this. So, uh, this guy right here, law and order, uh, has like a dog with the leash and everything. Um, even one of these guys, I think I talked about tunnel rat, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You could see in his hand, these little flashlights that the guy even had. Um, I mean, if I was a child, I probably would have chewed on those or something. I mean, the fact that they're all in good condition uh, is fantastic. So, you know, I totally expect to make around $1,000 um, on all of these G.I. Joe things. So I spent $125 on it. I knew that that was a little high. I took the gamble thinking that there was only going to be one or two uh, complete figures. But I am very surprised and happy about everything that I found there. So, you know, it was it probably took me about an hour, two hours to find each little piece. Um, and, you know, I still even have extra guys uh, that are not complete from like the 25th anniversary. And even those uh, will sell for, you know, $15, $20 a piece. So 
Uh, really, really happy with that find. That was the best find of, you know, the yard sale season so far. Um, I have a feeling it's going to probably sell pretty quick. I know G.I. Joe collectors um, are out there and, you know, buy pretty frequently. So, um, yeah, really, really happy with that find. And, uh, yeah, so if you got this far, um, I really appreciate you checking everything out that I, uh, you know, found over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it, again, if you did get this far, if you can give it a thumbs up, if you can subscribe, maybe your favorite find or maybe something that I missed. Uh, if you saw with the GoPro stuff, maybe said, hey, I should have bought that. Um, definitely let me know. I, you know, I'm not an expert. And again, I try to go without looking stuff up. Um, but yeah, so until the next one, uh, I'll see you later. Have a good one.